I actually didn't plan to do this video. I just got the idea then to share with you something that I've, I've thought of for a little while now, and it's to do with persuasion. If you're wondering how you can, you, you can create a message that resonates more with your desired audience, how you can have more of an influence on them, think not so much about the substance, but think about form. I want you to think about some of the most for lack of a better word, the most charismatic and engaging and entertaining people that you know. And just just think about what it, what is it about them that draws you towards them? Is it because what they everything they say is technically correct? Is it because they pronunciate all of their words clearly? Is it because is it because of the words that they use, or is it something else? Something that perhaps feels intangible? Is it that? Uh, like I said, what they call that charisma, that draw. They have this ability to engage people. When you talk to them, they have this ability to make you feel like you are the most important person in the universe to them right now. Is it, If it's something like that, then these people generally have what's called a magnetic personality. And the beauty of that is that not everything that you say has to be technically correct. Now, there are some people who can turn it into a dark art and they can use it to manipulate people. But if you apply it the right way, it can it can help you with your ability to write your own copy and to promote your business online and also to promote yourself when you're speaking with people at a function or some other event. Think also, think of it like music. I, I often think of it like music. If, if you think about the artists and the, the songs that you enjoy the most, is it because you like the lyrics? You like the, the style that they that they write lyrics with? Is it because everything that they say 100% resonates with you? Or is it about the music itself? I think that's some of the, the best known composers of, in history. And their music literally has no words, but it's become so well known. Because there's something about it that, that resonates with, with us, that, that stirs us. And that's even without a single word being spoken. And... You know, even in this day and age, it's still the fact that people love a catchy beat. People love a great guitar riff. People love people love something that sounds that, that sounds different and 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 draws them in. And it doesn't necessarily revolve around the words that they use. So, yeah, think think about that when it comes to the art of persuasion. It comes to the art of engaging people. Don't get so hung up on the micro details. Don't get so hung up on substance that you ignore form completely. I'll give you an example right now. I like. I'm not saying that I'm I'm the most engaging public speaker out there. You know, I'm not Tony Robbins or somebody like that. But imagine if I did this video and I talk just like this, like one of the people that you hear on those robot voices, with no real change in tone or the speed at which I speak or any inflection on the words, and I just spoke like this for the next ten or fifteen minutes you would miss the fact that I was sharing important information about copywriting or about marketing itself or about life because of the way that I'm talking now. Even if everything that I said was 100% accurate and helpful to your life, how long could you actually listen to me talk like this? It would be completely bloody boring, wouldn't it? You see what I mean? Like, even if everything I said was technically sound, it, you'd, you'd switch off, you'd tune out. And maybe that's what... The, the problem is with your marketing. That's why people who aren't actually as good as you are when it comes to how they how they do what they do or the product that they sell actually isn't as good as the one you're selling. Maybe it's just that what a lot of people think is that X factor. They're not so hung up on substance that they ignore form. Think about how you can draw people in, how you can, for lack of a better word, get, uh, get a better tone Create a better tone. Get your audience to feel something, which I've spoken about recently as well. Think about those areas. Think about the the most uh, the most moving concerts that you've been to, or the the, the shows that really that you still remember fondly to this day. And do you remember everything that was every word that was spoken? Do you remember every lyric, or do you remember the experience of that event? If you make people feel something, and again I've touched on this recently, you make people feel something. You make your audience feel something. That's one of the most powerful calls to action known to man. So, something to think about there, guys. And as always, if you'd like a bit of, bit of help developing that or working out how, how you can achieve this, I offer consultancies to help people just like you with problems just like yours. You can uh, reach me via any of the links below. But uh, 
yeah, something for you to think about there. I just wanted to do this quick video and I didn't want to take too long with it, but uh, yeah, just have a look at what you're doing with your marketing and think about how you might be able to make people feel something.